Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene, complete with squeaky chair. I'm going to try to not make it squeak too much. It drives me nuts during the editing, but I like this chair. I don't want another chair. That means you're stuck with the squeakiness. I am here with a major fabric unboxing. I was going to split it up in two videos, but I was like, no, I want to see it all right now. And so that's what we're going to do. 211 yards. My biggest haul from this supplier, he found a bigger box and he filled it. And at quick glance, because I opened it, I saw loveliness right there on the top. So happy so far. Of course, I might chat with you along the way, so stick around. Don't disappear, because you never know. I might say something funny. Sometimes I do. At least I make myself laugh. <laughs> like that. Here we go. Is there anything I wanted to tell you before we get started? Ah, I'll think of it along the way. So, 211 yards, and uh, I believe I ordered one and a half yard cuts. That's what I usually get. Love this right away. Love this. I can't remember the brand, the manufacturer that I picked from. He sends me pictures. Oh, ooh, ooh, I like that. And um, I keep them for when I'm ready to order and I'll be like, yes, I really like that, you know, brand manufacturer. I don't know. I don't know what to call it that you sent me. And uh, I think he sent me two different ones. Let me look it up for the hell of it. Oh, I could just look on the fabric, couldn't I? Let me look it up. It is Red Rooster. I've never even heard of that. I'm not really knowledgeable when it comes to all the brands or manufacturers of fabric, but Red Rooster. I also told him that I loved the RJR fabrics that I got before, along with the Ginny Bears and Thimbleberries. So I probably have a mix of all of those things. I did think there was another kind that he sent me pictures of too, but whatever. I got a mix of all that stuff. Let's keep going, because this is going to be a long video if I don't mosey along. Do love. <sighs> Happy so far. <laughs> oh, I've had this one before, and I like it, so that's good. Ooh, I love the colors in this one, and I love the things that are big, wide stripes like that because those can be fussy cut and used as borders or whatever. I've had this one before too, along with the um, other floral one and this one. So these must be uh, a repeat of the manufacturer. I'm going with that, that I had last time, but a lot of new things here. I love this. In the pictures, I saw that he had some of these things with the big strips and I was like include those please oh what's this well kind of cool nice colors those make unusual quilt blocks too if cut little oh I like this I love the colors I don't know if that's buttons I think it's tires they're tires I'm not quite a tire girl but cool beans just the same for the sake of the colors. Oh, this is cute. I didn't ask for Christmas, but this looks very Christmassy, if you ask me. Still good. Still time for that. Oh, I like this. Making sure it's not all upside down for you. I will be very busy cutting a lot of this stuff. Jeez. It's Barbie, so I'm okay with that. But I do say not big prints like this because I can't cut those down. The print is like all lost. But that's Barbie. I'll probably just sell that as is. Not cut it at all. Oh, I think I did say some novelty prints because I'm very low on that. But still, I don't usually like the gigantic prints. Ooh. I've told him that I love it when there's yardage that has like squares. It's not necessarily a panel, but you can cut the squares 
and I got that. He says he very rarely has that, but he says, if I ever get some, I will give it to you. Oh my God, I just love this so much. I wish I had more because I would do a tutorial using this for a kid's quilt. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Elephants and peanuts. Oh my, nice. Um, all of a sudden I can't think. Primary colors. I gotta get more. Hang on. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> Let's just keep going. I'd like to talk to you while I'm showing you fabric, but it's hard for me to do. But maybe I will. Oh, I had this. Sold it all during, I believe it was the frenzy. Oh, look. I like that. So this is, you know, a lot of different stuff, so I'm glad. Florals. I had this. And I liked it. Oh, I haven't had this floral print yet. Good colors. I had this before. I had this before. Okay, this stack, it looks like I've had a lot of these before. Not that. And I like this. I like the small prints like that. And gray is always super cool. Okay, kind of big prints. I am going to have to try fussy cutting some of those for some specialty quilt blocks. I like this. See, I never know what to call colors when I'm, you know, posting or listing. Like, I don't know. I hate to say the word orange. It sounds so orange. This is more of a, like, maybe, I don't know, sort of pumpkin-ishy. Oh, I have this one. Still, well, I don't have any more. I still have some to sell of it. But everything from my last shipment, my big box, has all been cut and put into a family of fabrics. Oh, I like that. Is it black? I do believe it's black. Hang on. So... I needed more fabric because I wanted to cut more fabric. I think I've had that one. Is there some little specks of colors in there? See, I like that. It's mostly green, sage green, dare I say. <laughs> but it's got little little pieces of color in there. I like that. Like this. Ooh, funky. See, my kind of stuff, but... I'll probably be stuck with it. I have had this. I don't think from the last time. I don't know. I don't think I have any more on hand. Very colorful. Very flower power hippie child. As is this, which I've had before. Hang on. Going in for more. Alrighty. Party time. Well... Not the kind of partying I used to do, sad to say. But <laughs> fun party stuff. And, um, gee, I thought at first this was beer cans. I was going to say, now that is the kind of partying I used to do. But it's uh, bugs. Bugs with bug spray. All right? Who's, like, hurrying up to buy that? <laughs> and I like this. And this. You know, even though I tell him often that I'm not into, like, the big, weird prints like bug spray. <laughs> he has a lot of customers, so I'm sure he can't remember everything I've ever told him. And I don't want to repeat myself in every email. This I have coming out. Um, I don't remember if it's for this weekend's flash sale or for next weekend's frenzy. Oops. Let's see, strips. So let me show you this way and this way. Hang on. More repeats. Repeat. I don't remember what I was saying. That's not for me. It's a double ring. Hang on. It's for my mother. Okay. We have distinctive ringing, so we know if it's for her. So she can answer, and I don't have to answer for her. <laughs> All right, wherever we were, I don't know. So I don't, like I said, have much to chat about, and I'm not in rant mode, so that won't be happening today. Ooh, I like this. Nice little all over. Um, I just cut some of this 
seriously, a half an hour ago. So I've got more of it now. And this, yeah, I like that. Orange and pink. Only there's better names for both of those shades. But I like orange and pink together. All right, so Fabric Frenzies, flash sales, just quickly, exclusive members get lower prices. If you're a patron or a YouTube member, lower prices, and you get all the variety. And then what uh, doesn't sell out during my exclusive sales, um, oh, that ends up on eBay. And my exclusive sales are for USA only. On eBay, it can be any country, but you have to pay the shipping. And the links are down below if you're interested in any of that. Ooh, I do have something else that I wanted to mention. I like that. I like dots, polka dots, just weird dots, spots. All right, hang on. I saw in the bottom, I ordered a bolt of muslin. They come in 50 yards. The bolts come in 50 yard bolts. <laughs> and uh, he said, I, you know, sometimes have smaller yardage, like if they've already used some of it. So I said, I'll take a smaller yardage bolt as long as it's still on the bolt, because I didn't want them to unroll it all and then roll it back and have it be a hot wrinkled mess. I want to be able to offer muslin on a regular basis. And I don't want to have to be ironing every time somebody orders some. And it looks like it's on the bolt. I was so worried that he was going to send it in a big balled up mess. And uh, so I'm glad about that. I had this one before. This was one of the prints in my... Um, Fat Eighth Quilt that I made not too long ago. Link is down below. And I think this print made it to that quilt too. I have it in two other colors that I just cut. I don't know if it's fat quarters or long quarters. I don't know. Maybe I'll add this one to that. I don't think I've had this one. I like it. So fun. Had that. Didn't have this. You know, I'm not into roses. It's like my least favorite flower. I'm not anti-flower. I just, I'm not drawn to roses. Okay. This is uh, good for like motifs or for a cheater's quilt. You can just put a backing on fabric like this and then, you know, just do some stitching, make it look like you quilted, and you, like, you put all those blocks together, but you didn't. Yeah, like little prints like that. I'm getting hot. Not that kind of hot. I've had this one. So quite a few repeats, but I'm okay with them because I like them that much. I had this before. I don't know if in that color, but I've had that print. I've had this before. So exclusive shoppers. I've had this. If you're watching, pretty sure you are. Just know that I got some stuff that you've probably already purchased, but some of you might have wanted to purchase and didn't get a chance, so you'll have another chance. All right, I'm going to move some of this and get more. All right, so let me tell you something new that I'm doing, and I'm going to try to continue to show you prints. Oh, I have this. See, I always have to comment about the prints. I um, started something new, a new perk for my patrons and YouTube members. If you are one of my members, we'll just call it, and if you have an eBay or Etsy store, or you list or sell on either of those platforms, I will advertise for you as a perk. If you're at the $5 level of Patreon, and it's $4.99 per month for YouTube. All right, let me see. Sometimes I like these big prints, uh, sometimes I don't, but this one is super cool because I can see a lot of very unusual blocks, especially a fussy cut. And even if you don't fussy cut, like if I were to take this and cut into the five inch squares, the prints, you know, the design won't be the same on all of the blocks, probably not on any of the blocks. And I like that because the colors all work together because it's already all the same but the prints on the squares are different and it makes for very unusual quilt blocks okay so patrons youtube members five dollar level 
um, I will promote your stuff on my blog, on my YouTube community board, on my Facebook. I don't like do a ton of it. It's not going to appear to be spammy, but I can put you on my blog as in a blog post. I can put you in my sidebars and I, you know, here and there, spit it out there to the, um, you know, all the platforms that I promote on. And it's working. I have one patron right now that I'm doing that for, and it's working for her. So it can work for you, too. It's not like I have a gigantic following, but it doesn't need to be gigantic. I do have a, you know, a devoted following. I guess I can call it that. And, oh, I like that very much. My blog posts do go out to over 3,000 people per day and growing because I have had some people sign up for that because I'm starting to really work hard on bringing my blog back to life. You know, for a while there, blogging sort of became old-fashioned, at least in my mind, but it's still a very good thing to have, especially for someone like me who does a lot of things because I can have my blog be the hub of all the things that I do. So do go check out my blog, DarleneMichaud.com, and somewhere there, I think on the right sidebar, there's a box where you can subscribe. It's one email per day as long as I upload something new to the blog, if I post something, and uh, you can subscribe, and then you have to go verify your email, or you'll never get the email. So you have to verify. A lot of people don't do that step. You should see all the people that I have that it shows that they subscribed, but they're not verified. And uh, I can't do anything about that. They didn't follow directions. <laughs> There's this. And so, um, you know, so that goes out to over 3,000 eyeballs. If I post one of your items on my blog or several items. And um, if I put it on my YouTube community board, well, I have over 80,000 subscribers that can see it. The public can see it too. I love this. It almost looks like batik. I don't know if you can see it. And, you know, my various Facebook pages and stuff. Not thrilled with that flower. Hang on. We're almost done. I was going to say, didn't we just see this? But it's in pink. I like that. So I can do something with the purple and the pink. Let's see how they look together. See how pretty? Love. Anyway, if you um, are interested in very inexpensive advertising for five bucks per month, even if you do it just one month, I will put you out there in front of other people's eyeballs. And I have an email address in the description box down below for those who are interested in the advertising and only for those who are interested in the advertising. So you're going to send me an email with the link to your eBay store or eBay listings, auctions, buy it now, whatever you do on eBay, and or the link to your Etsy shop. You're going to send me that. I will look at the stuff and if I think it's a good fit, meaning I think that I will be able to get people to come and look at your stuff because I have to be excited about it to be good at promoting it, you know? I have to believe in something or I will be sending the wrong signals to the universe. <laughs> anyway, send me your links and I will get back to you and let you know if I think I can help you out. And then if you want to join one of those platforms so you can get the advertising, that would be awesome. And I will do my best to get you noticed and to increase your sales. And don't feel bad, though, if I say it's not a good fit, because I really do have a good feel for my audience. And I don't want to, you know, waste my time, your time, my audience's time. You know, I don't want to send them out to go see things that I don't think they really would like. But it doesn't have to be handmade or crafty. It can be anything. I mean, I'm willing to look at anything because you never know. You just never know what I might think is a good product. So link is down below for that email. And send me your links. This is almost like watercolor camo, if such a thing exists. Huh? Very cool. And look, see, I like it with that. See those two greens together? 
super cool. Ooh, and I like this too with that. So, especially this and this because they both have little bits of color. Oh my God, this is what I do at night. I just like look at all of them and I try to make, um, you know, I match things up like, okay, these eight go together and then these four go together and then I try to decide, am I going to do fat quarters, long quarters, fat eighths, fat sixteenths, scrappy pre-cuts, what am I going to do, strips, uh, postage stamp, little two-inch squares, and I just have so much fun with all of that. So is that all I wanted to tell you about the advertising? Email is down below, go check it out. I think that's all I wanted to tell you. I would say, all in all, I'm very happy with this. I kind of would have liked not as many repeats, but I know that happens because I even said, if you have any leftovers of those others, send them my way. I'm just, you know, I just did a lot of cutting, so I'm used to a lot of these prints, but oh my God. I specifically said to him, I spy something in the fabric pictures that you sent me. I would love it if you have that. And he has it. Look, it's the cupcakes and cookies and things. See, that's just so unusual. So unusual. I don't know how I'm going to sell it, but... Oh, looky, gummies and candy. Oh, so cute. All right, this is cute for 4th of July. I'm not into the patriotic stuff, mainly because of the colors. It's just like the Christmas stuff. I'm not into red and green together. Not the typical red and green that, you know, was from back in my day. Those were the Christmas colors. Now there's a lot of different other colors. But see, this isn't like so red and blue. It's a uh, softer red and blue. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just weird. Ignore me. Okay. Totally like this. I hope you've enjoyed this so far. <laughs> School of Rock. I have said many times, not anything with words, please. I don't want words. <laughs> I just don't. So these things, like I said, I might uh, sell as um, a whole piece. Or, believe it or not, stuff like this can make kind of cool two-inch squares. Not that I would sell two-inch squares with this wording, or I could, um, because you only get little pieces of it, and it's kind of interesting. It's not like you're reading the whole quilt. There'll be like a piece here in the quilt and a piece there. So, you know, that always works. Like, did we not just see this, or was it a different color? Okay, it's a different color. This one is like uh, blue in between, and this one is pink in between. I'm good with all that. I've actually had this, and I actually remember that. Like that. Now, see, this is something I would like in a Christmas quilt. It's gold, and there's little flecks of red and green in there. Huh? I like that. This is the kind of red I would like in a Christmas quilt. I wasn't even going to show you this one. It's like, okay, just little dots. But I like dots. I love stuff like that. All right, now this alone, you know, big flowers. It's just not my kind of style of flowers. I like more artsy kind of things. But they're pretty, and the color is good. This is my kind of flowers. They're more like, you know... Something I could doodle. But look together. Look how cool that is. You know, the colors go together great. I do believe. See, I like stuff like that. I may or may not have had this. And I don't think I've had this. And I like this with this. More. Ooh, we have a mate for the pink and purple that we saw earlier. Ah, ha, ha. Those will be somehow sold together as a grouping. 
I've had this before, and I love it very much. I like gray. I love brown. Had this. That might have also been in my fat eighth quilt, as was this, I do believe. So I got that. You know, I could cut some more kits for that quilt, but in different colors. That's what I would like to do with the quilts that I make and I sell kits for. Like I did that for my strip quilt. It was made with just, you know, regular cotton, but then I cut six kits of flannel strips all ready to just sew together, and I sold all of those. So that was pretty cool, and I don't have to do another whole video, you know, to have the kits. Oh, I like this. I believe I call it confetti. And I've had it probably twice before. Look how fun that is with that. When I make other kits, I will always let you know. Oh, speaking of having to let you know something, I have a tunic on eBay for a penny. It's a penny auction. It's a rayon one. The print is fantastic. And last I checked, it was like in the $20 range. So please go check that out. I'll have the link down below. And that's a good deal right there. If you can get it for anywhere close to that, you're doing good. And it's been, I don't know, probably a couple of months. I was doing a tunic every eight days. And I'm trying hard to get back to that. So I don't know if I'll be doing the little tunic videos. Because I'm trying really hard to only put stuff that... I feel is working for me on my channel and I don't get a whole lot of views with those. I mean, it's good advertising, so I don't know. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Okay, I like this very much, but please do go check out that auction. Link down below. And I like this. Did we not just see this? Sometimes he does repeat in the same pile. I just sold these the last frenzy. Oh, if you are one of my exclusive shoppers, I know sometimes I don't have a flash sale the weekend before frenzy, but I am this time Be because I'm not going to have like a gigantic frenzy. It's frenzy 21. Um, my frenzy 20, I had a hundred different items that was massive and I needed the weekend off before that to finalize all that stuff. But I've been doing pretty good and I'm going to be able to still sell a few things this weekend. And then the flash sale is the weekend of December 6th. This is 2019 as I'm recording this. If I had to pick a least favorite in this whole bunch, probably this. I don't know. It just looks very like old grandmother kind of fabric. Or something but there's probably people who love this and now I'm insulting their taste in fabric but look it goes good with these things with this brown maybe I don't know with this maybe I don't know I worry too when I put things together that people are like that doesn't go together Darlene and sometimes I put stuff together that absolutely doesn't go together I'm just selling it like 12 fat quarters or 12 one half yard cuts it doesn't mean that it's a grouping that I'm expecting you to use all in the same quilt it just means that I'm selling that fabric <laughs> and you can buy it if you want this is the kind of green that I call like that Christmas green it's like so green but if it's with something else and toned down a little bit ooh, like with this I don't know. I would like it. Oh, this I love. Brown and green. How did I not comment on that when I was flipping through these? My neighbor is going to be outside now just revving up his engine. He likes to do that. Sits in the car. I'll never understand why anyone cares to do those kinds of things. We have just a little bit left and then the muslin. And I see some repeats in here, but this is not a repeat, and that is frigging beautiful, in my opinion. There's everything I like going on. The colors are like a muted, like that's not a sickening green to me. And then there's little leaves or whatever that is, and there's like swirly lines. So it's like striped, but it's wonky striped. <sighs> it's not like white in the background. It's like off-white. Fucking love it. Just cut that before this unboxing. I had some. 
I had some of this. I don't know if I had this exact color, but I like it very much. I just cut this, I think, last night. Gee, I hope I can find the print that I screwed up on last night. <laughs> I was like, shit, I had a grouping of eight and I cut one thing wrong and I had to add another fabric to the group of eight. I had this. I had three like this or two. Oh, yes, here's the other one. I had these both recently and it's the same print, different colors. But that's okay because I sell out of a lot of this stuff like really quick and then you know, somebody else sees it after and they know it's sold out and they're like, I didn't get any of that. So, so they'll have another chance. Now here's a green that I would accept as a good green for Christmas. It's a little bit darker, like it. Do you really need to know all this shit that I talk about? You don't. I know you don't. <gasps> it's another one in that family with the pink, blue, and purple I don't know if this necessarily goes that great with it, but it's going to go with it because it's the same print. I will like it. Oh, the pink. Oh, we have to look. Hang on. No, I can't. I can't. It's too far down. Oh, I have to. I got it. Where's the blue? Where's the blue one? Oh, it's right here. Okay, we're good. Okay, I love pink and orange together. I do. I love that. It's very um, Mexican colors. I don't know. Is that stereotyping something? Did I do something wrong? Is that politically incorrect to say it looks like Mexican colors? I'm so afraid to talk, you know? <laughs> but <laughs> all I know from when I lived in Texas, a lot of Mexican women wore very colorful clothing, and I think it's beautiful. And pink and orange together, they like that. I like that. So let's add the purple, the purple to the mix, and let's add the blue. I'm keeping! No, I'm not. I can't. I can't allow myself to keep this stuff. I can't. <sighs> I do have a couple of these. <laughs> I, some, I have some that I put aside, and it's like, oh... I, I could make a tutorial, and then it's like, but then I'd have to sell that because I don't want to be keeping the things that I make, and it's like I love the fabric so much. Oh, it's so difficult being a somewhat hoarder. Very big, but I like this background very much, that black on black. I've had this. See, again, this makes me think of Mexican colors. The pink. See, pink, orange, purple. I love all that stuff. And this, which I've had this print in several different colors at this point. Wow, what nice big stacks of fabric I have. Okay, the muslin. Ugh. So he must have counted folds. I'm not going to count to see... If what he charged me is exactly what I got, I'm not that concerned. But I love this muslin. It's unbleached. That first piece will be mine. And it is uh, unbleached. And it has the seed specs. Let me see if I can get close enough for you to see the seed specs. See the little specs? <sighs> It's just such a nice rustic look, and ooh, ooh. it's uh, lightweight enough. I don't care for a very thick muslin, and, and I'm going to be using this shit in a lot of tutorials, I can tell you that. Um, one that I have planned somewhat in my head, it's not on paper yet, is homespun and muslin rag quilt. I love this. <laughs> and I, um, I don't know if that's going to be next. Uh, you know, I really want to get a kind of a crafty video out this week, and I just don't think I have the mindset for that, even though I'm doing absolutely nothing for the holidays. The only thing I have to do this week is go to Walmart for pills and a few things that we need, but uh, I don't do anything. I'll be working Thursday like normal, which that's my kind of holiday. I can just work uninterrupted. 
All right, you guys, thank you if you made it this far into the video. I hope you did. I really do. Thank you so much for watching, and please go down below and check out whatever links I talked about. I will remember to put them all, because when I'm editing, I make a list of all the things I mentioned, so I can remember to put the links down there for you. So thank you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back with more soon. Bye.